I'm Dr. Anirvan Chatterjee. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Haystack Analytics. When, when we now talk about uh, the, the, how the market is moving in terms of number of tests and the total proportion of the market that is shifting in terms of molecular diagnostics, molecular diagnostic itself is a 10 plus billion dollar market globally. But if you look at the past 15 years, uh, while there were a handful of companies uh, in very early 2000s trying to do DNA sequencing in diagnostics, Today, we already have, even in India, uh, which has been catching up this technology a little later than the rest of the world, we already have several companies, established companies and startups who are working on it. Uh, to my understanding, we already know of maybe 10 to 15 companies who are trying to use DNA sequencing in the medical diagnostic uh, uh, field in, in India. But what we understand is uh, the, the, the application of genome sequencing is first going to disrupt the pathology market. Uh, we think that over the next 5 to 10 years, uh, almost uh, 40 percent, 40 to 50 percent of current pathological tests are going to move into genome sequencing based or genomics based tests. And even in this, infectious disease diagnostics, uh, almost uh, 80, 90 percent of that are going to move into genome sequencing. Uh, one of the best examples to see how genome sequencing is coming into mainstream uh, diagnosis is that in tuberculosis. Uh, I remember as a postdoctoral fellow at University of Oxford, we were working on TB genomics for the NHS UK. And, and uh, what happened over the, over the next um, two, three years of work that was done is genome sequencing which was strictly almost in research. I had already published papers in genome sequencing in 2011, 2013. But 2014-15, what happened is, we were able to create this technology which could scale. What that means is, we realized at Oxford that we can now actually replace multiple current technologies used in TB diagnosis using a single test, which was TB genomics. This ended up becoming world's first genomics based clinical diagnostic test for any disease to be launched nationwide and this was done by NHS UK and what was it, it was a phenomenal paper that was published which says that uh, uh, genomics actually made it more affordable and more comprehensive and more accurate to diagnose tuberculosis. The, one of the ways in which uh, uh, genomics is changing uh, the world is the way we looked at, uh, look at cost of uh, healthcare. Uh, if, if you look at cost, there, there are several costs that, that a person incurs. One is the cost of diagnosis, the second is the cost of therapy and the third is the cost of rehabilitation. If you see, rehabilitation takes the longest period of time therapy takes slightly lesser, diagnostic takes the least amount of time. And that's why if we have the right diagnosis, the right therapy can be given. If the right therapy is given earliest, the cost of therapy comes down. And if we have the right therapy given, the total time for rehabilitation comes down. So when we look at started looking at genomics, we started looking at the cost of uh, genomics. It has to be made affordable so that uh, a patient can afford to ask for that test and a clinician can then transfer that knowledge into shorter, better, more affordable therapy which would require much lesser rehabilitation. Let's take the example of tuberculosis again. Instead of undergoing seven different tests using genome sequencing because all the antibiotics are screened. Today, we are able to screen, Histac Analytics is able to screen 18 antibiotics in a single test. We are able to detect any uh, other infection, non-tuberculosis, mycobacteria, and mixed infection. We are actually reducing the total cost of therapy. And in a way, what we are doing is, we are challenging the market to ask the question that instead of saying that let us find a little bit about this uh, 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 infection, so that the cost is lower, we are saying that why don't you get all the information on the first day? It might be slightly more than the current cost, but the total cost is going to be lo lower. As a researcher, uh, I started my uh, work in tuberculosis and then on Oxford uh, went ahead to be part of a team 
uh, which, which really opened my eyes into how newer technologies are providing uh, better solutions, uh, which I think are more affordable on the long run. And then finally, uh, I, I really had an opportunity to be in Denmark, where I was working with uh, global studies on antimicrobial resistance. And all of this, when we put together, uh, I kind of realized that infectious disease as a subject, as, as, as a matter of focus, uh, uh, is, is not as, um, as, as researched on or as served to the common man or uh, uh, the way a disease like cancer or diabetes or hypertension is. And that's where I think my work in uh, IIT uh, with Professor Kiran on virology, we came together to realize that, you know what, uh, we should make genomics for infectious diseases. Uh, we should make genomics work for infections. And the thing about infections is, if, if diagnosed early, infections are treatable and these are avoidable deaths. If the right antibiotic can be given very early on, these are avoidable deaths and that's what Haystack Analytics does. Haystack Analytics, uh, as a company based out of IIT Bombay, we are a technology driven company. Uh, and what we are trying to do is make this technology work for diagnostic healthcare providers. Uh, we started uh, by actually going ahead and being the provider for TB genome sequencing for all the four major uh, diagnostic chains in India. Uh, uh, right now, our work is expanding this portfolio where we are converting any molecular diagnostic lab into a genome sequencing lab. Over the next two years, uh, we, we have uh, put ourselves a target that we want to get to 50 to 60 different hospitals in India, all of which should be enabled with clinical genomics with our solution. And uh, we want to expand this solution to other countries uh, where, uh, again, infections are prevalent and we want to take uh, infectious disease diagnostics, again, to healthcare providers. Our ultimate aim is to make every diagnostic lab into a clinical genomics lab.